My name is Army Staff Sergeant Daniel Lister. I was injured in Afghanistan when I stepped on an IED. I lost my left leg below the knee, and I had limb salvage on my right leg and left arm. This is my old lady. Uh, this is Ashley. Um, she is the rock in my life. She's way outside my my range. He's just, you know, this big, vivacious personality. Yeah, my daughter's about to be 16. Uh, my son's about to be 15. Every gray hair I have in my beard is totally because of them. It's their fault. <laughs> my dad was in the military, um, and I grew up um, in combat engineer barracks. I grew up, you know, with combat engineers. I knew that the Army took care of its soldiers, and I had no future at the time. I was a knucklehead, got into lots of trouble, so the Army gave me the tools that I needed to be a functioning adult. So the day of my injury was June 2nd, 2010. At the time, before anybody could walk on um, new territory or in new areas, we had to ensure that it was safe for the infantry to go there. So as a combat engineer, that's kind of our role. We were, we had found some devices, and I took a step back and we had missed one. And it got me, it bit me. Everything just went crazy. Everything went sideways, you know, the whole mission changes. Like everything changed, everything changed right there. The Army was more than just a career for me. It was my way of life. I loved it and I didn't know, like it was the way I defined myself. So when that explosion happened, I lost my definition, like who I was as a person. Getting sober and seeking mental health has probably been um, some of the biggest and most important changes in my life. We live in Buford, Georgia. Um, in the house, there are two flights of stairs. So you have stairs, landing, stairs. All of the doors are too small for my wheelchair to fit through. So, you know, anytime that I've been wheelchair bound, you know, I can't go into my kids' rooms. The biggest thing is being stuck upstairs. Because, I, so this year I had four hospitalizations and three surgeries. And I was just stuck for almost three months. And what that does mentally is you become dependent on people in your family to do everything for you. And once you start losing your independence, your pride, and your mental health kind of fall with it, you know, and you become uh, just depressed and you feel like a burden and holding your family back. And that's, uh, that's probably the hardest piece. So I first heard about Homes for Our Troops uh, from Rich Pratt, actually, and he is the Director of Construction Operations with the organization. He said, hey, I found out about this program and you should check it out. And I was like, well, I don't want to take somebody else's stuff and they probably wouldn't, you know, pick me or whatever. He's like, well, it can't hurt, so just try. This is an amazing thing that people are doing for soldiers. If I were to receive a, a home from Homes for Our Troops, all the adaptations um, are great, it's amazing, but it's more than that. I think the biggest thing is independence. It's the freedom of maneuver. Right, there's an independence. Like I don't require somebody to be here. I can do the laundry. I can go in and out of this room. I can go in any room possible. I don't have to have somebody hold the door open for me. There's, it's the independence that's really crucial. Our lives and our children's lives are all affected by the home that we currently live in. And so to have the ability for him to be independent on his own I think the entire family just like breathes. It's like, okay, we're okay. You know what I mean? And so it allows everybody to just do the things that they want to do. You know, it's just, it's, it's a new lease on life. I like to be outside, but I also really like history. We play cards, we have friends over a lot. The two of us puzzle. We're homebodies. <laughs> Homes for our troops is amazing. I mean, for me, if a donor or supporter were watching this video, I, I think the thing that I would say is that there's no greater gift that you can bestow upon anybody. You have a unique opportunity to change someone's life literally from the ground up. You have an opportunity to 
show that life doesn't end with an explosion. It continues, it moves, it grows. And I think that's uh, very important in today's climate, especially with veterans and mental health. You know, it can make a difference. <laughs>